Hey everyone, it's Harissa here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to half leap. I'm sure you're here because you want to learn the mechanic to turn around really quickly in Rocket League, and I'm going to show you how to do that with all of the little details that I think are important as always. But I'm going to cover other things that a half leap is useful for too. I'm not going to ramble on too much. It's all in the video. I really just want to say, hello, how are you? And yep, that's my terrible intro out of the way. <laughs> I think they're getting worse, not better. Anyway, let's get into it. If you have heard of a half leap, then you probably already know how useful this mechanic can be. But for those of you who are still wondering what it's all about, a half leap is the quickest way to turn around in Rocket League. It's faster than reversing and turning around or doing a 180 degree spin. But there's far more to this mechanic than meets the eye. Half flipping is also invaluable for quicker recoveries and better 50-50s amongst other things. There are multiple ways to half flip in Rocket League, but there are two ways that stand out amongst the rest. I'd say that the most common way of half flipping is by using directional air roll, but there is also a way to half flip that excludes the use of it. I'm going to show you both ways to half flip, so it's worth noting here that if you're going to learn it without directional air roll, then you'll only be able to do so if your controller dead zone is below 0.2. I'll save you the boring details, but if your dead zone is higher than this, then the game doesn't register diagonal flips and side flips as well as it would if it was below that. If you're part of this club, then just focus your time on learning the directional air roll method instead. First, let's learn how to half flip by using directional air roll. If you don't have a button assigned to this input, then it's time to do so. Many players, myself included, bind a directional air roll button for the first time when learning this mechanic. If you're not sure what button to bind this to, then I personally think that having it on a bumper is ideal, but loads of players prefer to have it on circle square instead. This however requires the ability to fat finger your button pad, so be sure to do your research beforehand. A basic half flip can easily be broken down into five separate steps. The initial back flip, the flip cancel, boost, directional air roll, and lastly, but also optionally depending on the situation, power slide. This seems like a lot, but really these are all just the inputs that you'll need to do a half flip. I'll also quickly explain what a flip cancel is. As the name suggests, a flip cancel is performing a flip in any direction, backwards in the case of a half flip, and stopping or cancelling that flip or animation midway through. Think of it as throwing a ball IRL, but as you let it go, stopping the momentum so that the ball just falls to the ground. It's a similar principle for a flip cancel in Rocket League. Start off by back flipping around the field for a minute or two, just to get yourself properly warmed up. Well, that's step one out of the way. <laughs> now for the flip cancel. With your car completely stationary, do a backflip, but as you press your dodge button for the second time, practice simultaneously pushing your analog stick directly forward. What should happen here is that your car will lose all of its momentum and stop mid-air with its roof facing towards the ground. In the case of a half flip, it's really important that your car loses its momentum at the same moment that it is upside down. If you flip cancel too early or too late, then it will make the next steps more difficult. This requires a bit of good timing and some muscle memory, so don't be disheartened if you don't get it on the first few attempts. When you're more consistent, then start flip cancelling like this whilst holding reverse at the same time. At the same moment that your car has its roof facing towards the ground, press and hold your boost button as well as your directional air roll button. This will rotate your car onto its wheels whilst also giving you momentum at the end of the half flip. Sometimes it may also be necessary to hold power slide for a brief moment when your wheels touch the ground. And this is especially true if you don't get a perfect landing. Whether or not you half flip whilst reversing at the same time is definitely situational. Sometimes you'll need a half flip just to turn around and face the right direction. Usually you don't need crazy momentum for this, so holding reverse may not be necessary. Other times you may need it for recoveries, good 50-50s or quick rotations back to your own half. Usually you'd want to be holding reverse while half flipping for these. Jump into casual twos and experiment with your half flips. Try playing aggressively and you'll find yourself in heaps of situations where a half flip can make all the difference. Half flipping without air roll is a favoured way of performing this mechanic for some players and there are a number of reasons for this but the main one that I can think of is that it simply requires one less input. To do this you want to perform a corner flip instead of a perfect back flip. You can then push your analog stick directly forward to cancel that flip. You don't have to do anything else other than boost after this because your car will automatically rotate back onto its wheels by itself. 
This corner flip cancel, I guess you could call it, rotates your car both lengthways and sideways, which essentially gives you like an imperfect half flip that can be further refined with a bit of practice. In my opinion, half flipping like this is actually harder to master because the muscle memory is finer, but the choice is yours. I definitely haven't practiced this method a whole lot, which is why mine may look pretty average. You can also half flip forwards as well. All the inputs to this are exactly the same, except that you need to flip cancel forwards instead of backwards. This isn't something that I personally use a whole lot. However, it can be useful for quickly collecting a corner boost without driving up the wall afterwards. It's also kind of fun to do when you're just messing around as you can chain it with regular half flips as well. Also, it's worth mentioning here that a forwards half flip is kind of the precursor to a speed flip. So if you're looking to learn a speed flip in the future, then I recommend practicing this one. Half flips, wave dashes and power slides are what I call the recovery trifecta in Rocket League. Ending up with your car in reverse is something that can happen pretty often in a match. Whether it's because you hesitated on a play and now you're awkward or because your opponent tried to demo you or maybe just because you didn't have time to recover after a save. Half flipping can often mean the difference between getting scored on or not. Similar to a wave dash recovery, if your opponent bumps you, you can use the momentum from that bump to half flip and regain control of your car much quicker. As for defense, if you ever find yourself in the net with the ball rolling behind you, a half flip could very well save the day and make you look like an absolute defensive mastermind to your teammates, which is always a bonus, I guess. If you're in reverse with the opponent pressure in the ball, 90% of the time, it'll be best to opt for a half flip 50-50. If you simply reverse into a 50, then chances are that your opponent will have far more momentum than you and win it every time. However, if you half flip at the same time that you hit the ball, it'll give you a better chance at either winning or at least evening out the 50. This is something that I just don't see many people doing, and I've found that it's hugely beneficial, especially on defense. Although there's loads of ways to train the half flip, in my opinion, one of the quickest ways to refine this mechanic is to use training packs. I'll leave a few of my favorites in the description, but without rambling on too much, I personally prefer packs that force you to make a really quick save rather than the packs that force you to score a really quick goal. The more repetitions that you get in, the quicker you'll learn this mechanic. And although it may seem silly, whenever you score a goal in a match, use the throwback from the goal explosion to try and do a half flip. This is a free and non-risk rep that you can get in multiple times every match that you play. It's something that actually really helped me refine it and learn it quickly, and it might help you as well. Well, that's everything I think is important to know when it comes to the half flip. Again, if you like what you're seeing, please hit the sub button and click the little bell notification. I know I'm just another naggy YouTuber, but it does make a difference to the channel, to me personally as well. It means I know you like what you're seeing. And when it comes to your criticism, please drop that below in the comments as long as it's constructive because over the last few weeks, it's helped me to make better content for you guys and girls. Uh, and I will make a speed flip video. Enough said. <laughs> anyway, until then, take care of you and I'll see you in the next one.